All right, so you'll notice the check engine light is on. You'll notice it's surging a little bit. Actually, let me turn it off so you can hear it. And you can see it moving, all right? And then, uh, you can see the engine shaking. Here it's surging. So, down inside here, there's supposed to be a little tiny orange piece, like orange nipple. It's gone, it's just all black. That means the PCD valve has failed inside of the intake manifold. This, by the way, is not a PCV valve. If that ever fails, that is a diaphragm, and you replace the valve cover. They typically go bad every, like, 20 to 50,000 miles on these cars. But I want to focus on this. So rather than replacing this intake manifold plus the labor, what I did is simply installed a one-way valve in this vacuum line. And now you can hear it's a lot smoother. All right, so to take that off, you use a flathead screwdriver or some needle nose pliers, and you pull this out. And when you go to put it back on, you gotta lock it back on there. I use this, I uh, forget if it's Lowe's or Home Depot, this washing machine and dishwasher appliance hose, one inch outside diameter, five eighths inch inside diameter. Sorry, my camera's not focusing so well. It's an old phone. But you have to use some really rigid hose. If you go and get some flexible vacuum hose at the parts store, it's gonna collapse on you. So you have to use some very rigid hose to handle the vacuum pressure. And uh, you may notice a check engine light with a code P1101. It'll be surging at idle and light cruising. But when you're under boost, it'll smooth out because under boost the air actually flows the opposite direction of the turbo so this one-way valve will keep air from being sucked in at idle and light cruising but still allow air to flow to the turbo under boost from the factory it's a hard plastic line but you'll have to uh, get rid of that and install some tubing so this is a UPR 5 8 diameter one-way check valve I got off of eBay for about 20 bucks could also install it in this line if I wanted to just as long as it's flowing towards the turbo okay and if you want to know more about the purpose and benefits of an oil catch can on this 1.4 turbo I'm gonna cover that in the next video